Now, for the second easier way to, inst to install it locally is, okay, let's see. You have to install another component, okay, which is this. Now, go to this link and just download this. Okay. Now, go back to your server, custom components. If you don't have the custom components folder, just create it. To your custom, just move it in here. Uh, I already have it, so I'm not going to overwrite it. Now, you don't have to do anything else. That's it. All you have to do now reboot the server again after you install the custom components okay i'm not going to reboot it again once the server is back up what you do you just go configurations integrations and here it is i'm going to just delete this for now okay so you just installed the custom component and you rebooted the server you just click on add and just look for the we are custom just use the username and the password from the real Tuya app the phone number now choose which application you're using on your phone to sync the devices Tuya smart life or Jimvo. You're going to be having it. Oh, let me put it. Okay. If you go all right, it's already identified all the devices okay you can choose whatever they go okay so this is the one we've got in the okay so we got it here now let's go here and let's see if they're working Okay, let's see. Custom to be a. Okay, so these ones. They're going to be called exactly like the original to your ones. If you already have them installed. But they will add a two at the end. You see, this is the original to your one. From the Tuya integration, and this is the one from the custom Tuya. Let's just add this one and save it. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, so let's configure it again. I said uh, yes, this one. We'll use just this one. Okay, so we have this one. So we now have it in the dashboard. Let's check it to see if it works. As you can see, it turns on. It doesn't toggle back off by itself. It turns on and off. So, just great. I've tried this for a couple of weeks before making the video for you and no problem whatsoever. Now the way this custom component works is modifies the internal libraries that the home assistant uses to communicate with the Tuya cloud server. 
so I think sort of changes the status or check the status before he turns them on and off uh, pretty simple no need to get IPs no need to get devices IDs if you like it just uh, thanks the developer itself not me it's not my work hope you like the video thank you very much